YouTube. Um, yeah, what can I say about today? I'm uh, pretty excited really. I've uh, got some new permission and some new permission and some new permission. So yeah, um, don't know anything about this land. Just gonna give it a go. Apparently some old guys have been detecting here a little bit. Not sure what's on here. Um, the farmer hasn't really seen any finds from anyone. So yeah, I'm gonna get out here and we are going to find some stuff. Right, so first find, uh, sun's coming out a bit now, that's nice. Is this hook thing with, it's got like a squarish, not even perfectly square. Looks quite old, square ended, fold down. It's quite a chunky hook. Not quite sure, but yeah, looks oldish. Right, let's find some more. Right, next signal is a flat button. Um, just shows signs of some activity around here. So yeah, I've noticed a few clay bits in the ground around here. So I think I'll concentrate on this little area for a little bit and then move on. Right, as I was filling this hole back in, I just noticed this, and um, this is my first ever clay marble. Awesome. Something else to knock off the bucket list. Right, next find, um, I've just scraped away at it a little bit. It looks like it might be a big buckle. Yeah, look at that. That is huge. That's the biggest one I've ever found. <laughs> That's ridiculous. Wow. Alright, next one looks like a lead token. Um, yeah, it's kind of worn down on that. Alright, I've got a surface find here. Um, I did pick it up with a metal detector, but I didn't have to dig. And it's so small, it's a button, yeah. Tiny little thing. Oh, it's got something on it. Oh, that's wicked. So it's got a star in the middle. Yeah, that's cool. Tiny, look, there's my little finger. All right, sweet, let's find some more. We have one big musket ball in the pocket. Right. Next one. All right, I just found this now. It's got something on it. It could be a bit of a strap end. But I'm not sure. Kind of drops down a little bit on the end there. It's got some weird lines going across the middle. And some sort of pattern coming through. But yeah, it's interesting. Right, next find, I haven't picked it up yet. I did see a loop at the end of it, I think it's a pendant. Yeah. I'm not too sure what's on it though. It's pretty worn on that side. It's like, I don't know, like brick pattern shape might be. Oh, I think it's the Lord's Prayer. Um, but it's, it's pretty gone. But I think that's one of those ones where it's, yeah, it's starting to come through now. Cool. It's obviously some disciple with a ring around the head on that side. Yeah, that's cool, man. Sweet. All right, sorry about the wind if it's getting bad, but it is getting breezy out, yeah. Um, next find, I just found this quite interesting. It's some kind of leather mount badge two old hooks and it's gold gilled I can't can't see too much on it but it definitely looks interesting alright next find I found this uh, coin it looks like it's possibly copper hammered I don't think it's a button. Although saying that, it, I don't know. It's very thin, but it could be a button. 
not sure it's too far gone all right next okay next one i just found this um it's like a fleur-de-lis shapes a bit of object that's snapped off or something Oh, I just found this, um, I think it's lead, and I think it's a head, and it looks really old. Wow. I don't know, what is the, is that a hat? Is that a soldier's thing? I don't know. Dry out a bit. Definitely feels lead. It's got a bit of a nipple sticking out the bottom of it. Um, yeah. That's pretty cool. Alright, I didn't find that much more. I found a couple more musket balls, some more flat buttons, loads of bits of lead, which is which is a good sign. But not many things in the way of coins yet. But it's early days. I'm out of breath. <laughs> As you can tell, it's a long walk back. It's actually about I'd say it's nearly a two mile two mile stretch of land. Um, yeah, one field's about 50 acres, and the other one's 200, and the one I'm walking down now is probably another 200 acres, and yeah, it's a lot to get through. Hello everyone, right, I'm back again, I'm going over in that direction very shortly, I'm going to spend about four and a half hours there, and really go over some decent areas like really fine tooth comb sort of picking out all the little bits it's quite irony um, my detector I'm having to literally put iron audio on and listen in between the sounds because if I'm discriminating it there's so many signals right next to bits of iron it's actually crushing them and I'm missing loads of stuff so I worked that out the other day towards the end of the session so this time yeah I'm really really going to go to town on sifting through those little bits of iron and hopefully we find some cool stuff today right first half decent signal and looks like it might be a crushed thimble I don't know maybe not oh no it is it is I've just seen some pattern on it yeah so yeah one crushed open top thimble good sign right this next find I've just found um, never seen anything like this before and it's yeah it's weird so it's got this great big round bit which obviously clipped onto something on the back and then on this side it's got it's got some design coming through on it can't quite make out what it was yet but yeah, it's massive. Um, I don't know, it feels like lead. And for that to be lead and made in that way, that is something else. God knows what it is, but it's definitely interesting. It's even been worked around the outside. But yeah, cool. I'm kind of, what I'm doing with the field is I'm kind of, I'm sort of going away from the edge really finely all the way across and then I turn around about sort of five ten meters out and come back the other way so I'm sort of I'm going across the field but I'm doing the edge going in and out in and out in and out because um, that way you don't miss anything so anything that anyone else has been missing walking up and down the fields I'm gonna be picking up and yeah there's quite a lot of signals around here still picking up loads of little bits of lead the odd button here and there but we'll carry on all right, next find, found this big old D buckle, giving off about an 80 signal, um, as well as some of the rust. But yeah, that's that. All right, found one of these before, so I know what this is. This is the 
the bottom of a pot leg it kind of it has this sort of little lip where it goes up a little bit and then down that would have been the foot it would have curled up so yeah that's what that is right next one yeah I found a coin no idea what it is yet if it's got anything on it hmm it's pretty worn looks like something like a George's second or something but yeah it's pretty gone Alright, I've got another toasted coin of George II, I think, coming through there. Again, never going to get a date off that one. Uh, but, yeah, another coin. Alright, I found a, another musket ball just a little while ago, but then I just found this lovely little bullet. Look at that. Don't know what it is. But, yeah, that's pretty good. I just got this buckle with uh, quite a nice little design on it. That's pretty sick. Don't know the age of that, but yeah, it's pretty cool. Not found one like that before. So yeah, nice. Right, I've got uh, about half an hour left, so see what we can find in that time, and then um, that'll be the end of this hunt. Right, see you in a bit. Right, I found a, another fancy part of a buckle. That's pretty cool. Obviously it's broken. The other bit's not in the hold anywhere. Not sure the age on that one either, but it looks pretty old, that one. Sweet! Okay, so I just wanted to do a quick roundup and just give you a basic visual of what you expect to find on a day's hunt in a busy area and this includes the bits when I went over it first time round plus the dig I went on the next day so we have this big D buckley thing um, I don't even, I don't think it was for your foot to go through for a horse thing but I could be wrong it could be one of them um, we got our big buckle and this is from another buckle but you can see how big that is um, it probably would have belonged to a buckle as big as that as well I uh, found this hook thing still still haven't found anything on it I've cleaned it and it's definitely been shaped on the end into a square but it's not actually a screw or anything it's literally one piece and it kind of it's been flattened on the edges going around it as well I'm really unsure about that got my clay marble I found this rock just as a eyeball thing caught my eye obviously because it's got all these nice crystals in this round bit of flint I thought that was pretty cool so I kept that uh, pot leg cleaned up it's got the black on it from where obviously it used to be there with the fire going um, got this massive chunky bit of lead I'm sure that would have popped through some lever or something and come out the other end that that's either a very big strap end <laughs> but um, the writing going around it there is some lettering but it's been squashed so badly it's hard to make out what it is at all really um, but yeah, it's definitely interesting that I found this pillar. I didn't um, video this, but this is just solid brass um, used for something. Uh, I found this weird sort of heart shaped. I don't know. It's almost like it was a lock kind of thing. There's something. It's rusted up, but it would have opened out. I'm imagining like a handcuff type of thing. Uh, found this weird hook thing for like this bigger end obviously that would have been straight straighter than that don't know what that's from um, found a piece of uh, plates or pot 
but it's again it's, I think it's pewter this one uh, but yeah I thought that was quite nice and um, a token square now I'm showing you all these bits because I want um, people that haven't been out before or just interested to see what you get on a on a dig as well as all the the nice bits I've thrown in everything here that I just dug so everything you see is another signal that I had to dig up um, this um, is a stiffener um, that would have gone on some form of leather and that is 15th century which is pretty cool um, we've got the pendant um, it, it is a St Christopher with the Lord's Prayer on it um, it's not going to focus very well because it's dark now and I'm having to do it with the light on which is why I've got the shadow so excuse all that um, yeah so we've got the buckle the other nice ornate buckle and uh, that bit of a strap ends which is what it was and the coins I managed to get uh, George the second farthing and uh, George the second two half pennies um, these are a bit more modern but they're more gone because the metal used in them was rubbish so they're probably King George the fifth half pennies um, I found this that I didn't video and this is George the fifth and it's half a crown and then we've got the lead tokens I found four of those and this hammered farthing token this thing I found was quite weird because it's got crisscrosses on it on both sides and there's no I don't know it might have been off a cuff link because I did find where is it I did find this which is a, a similar shape but it had the bit broken on the back of it but again that that would have been a cuff link so I'm imagining this was a cuff link as well quite an old one uh, maybe Georgian I uh, don't know what that coin is and then some other weird little bits so we've got the thimble and this little fleur-de-lis type decorative um, probably came off a drawer some furniture or something this is flat on one side no idea what that came off of and um, found a few quite a few buttons so how many buttons have we got um, one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen 14 15 buttons and the best one was the one that I actually videoed with the little star in the middle of it 15 buttons so yeah quite busy and uh, I got some lead seals this one um, has got B I think that would have been a K it's like been squished a little bit so yeah, maybe that was Burger King oh, I'm just joking <laughs> and another little one and then we got musket balls uh, found two large ones this one been fired this one just been dropped and two smaller ones and a more sort of modernish type one it's got more of a smoother feel to it uh, found a bullet casing um, which has got Winchester written on the back of it and uh, it says 223 rem Winchester not that I know much about bullets um, and casings so yeah I've got no, another old case in there and this bit of lead it's just folded up and on one side it had sort of stripes going across it I didn't know if it was if it had been used for anything for holding old, holding stuff scrap bits of lead so we got one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve 13 scrap bits of lead um, some little bit there don't know what that is and these are just little scrap bits of iron and copper and a few little brass bits of scrap 
some little windy thing there, I don't know what that was off of and then we got this head still haven't really looked into it but it's got like a seam running down the middle of it I don't know if you can see that so it runs right up the back runs across the head and down the face so it would have been pressed to make that mould so I don't know how modern that is I don't know when they started using that kind of technology like they do with the musket balls to squeeze them to make the shape they obviously use that to make the mould of whatever that was so I don't think it's too old but who knows and so yeah that that's it on that field um, I'm going to be going on the other field next time I go out so we'll, we'll see what we get on there uh, but yeah thanks for watching guys and I'll see you in my next video bye bye <laughs> I dig the high tone.